Hello, today we'll be doing a quadratic model. Uh, we have here a maximization problem with a quadratic objective function. The constraint in this case are going to be linear. So we'll be doing this in IntelliJ. I've created a new class for this. Um, so we'll start doing the creating the new instance of cplex there's an exception I'll add it to the signature okay let's define the variables there are three variables all, all three of them are non-negative and just one has an upper bound so I'll add a variable x1 equal to cplex Bar from 0 to 40, correct? Yes. We'll do the same for the other ones. That'd be x2, x3. That's gonna be, it doesn't have an upper limit, so the maximum value is gonna represent infinity in this case. Okay. Let's define the objective function. This is a maximization problem. So it's going to be simplex that add maximize. And right here we'll create the complete expression. So if you can see, this is a summation of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 terms. So we'll write it all there the first one is going to be x1 which is that now uh, cplex that sum can handle up to one two three all the way to seven from zero to seven so eight can handle eight expressions to be s to to put into it and this is just a guess here we have up to eight so we can use it in one summation we can do everything so the second term is the multiplication between 2 and x2 so cplex dot product 2 x2 then cplex dot product that's 3 and x3 3 x3 now now we have minus 16 0.5 and then x1 square that's going to be x1 by x1 so we write that twice minus 16.5 x1 x1 so that's x1 square okay now 11 x2 x square minus 11 x2 x2 again simplex that product minus 0.5 minus 5.5 comma x3 x3 and the final two is 6 x1 x2 6 x1 x2 and c plus that product 11.5 x2, x3. All right. That was it. That's that's the objective. And very quickly, we can add these two constraints. Remember, we already added this one at the very beginning. So that be cplex that add less than equal. So again, the summation of three terms. The first one cplex that sum so the first one is the product between minus 1 and x1 minus 1 minus 1 and x1 and then it's just the summation in x2 and x3 x2 x3 that's less than equal than 20 correct yes um, 
and the next one simplex dot up less than equal okay simplex dot sum x1 simplex dot product minus 1 x2 correct minus 3 minus 3 x2 plus x3 that's less than equal than 30 30 there okay what else uh, we have it seems we have everything okay let's solve this simplex dot solve okay let's run it takes a little bit to build and there you have it okay it's working now let's make sure this is well written I'll debug it and by clicking here I added I added a stop point there uh, right before it solves just to check the model here so you have the object the simplest object here there and this is the model it's kind of hard to read so let's do something so it's a little bit easier so I'll stop the debugger and I'll name the variables so I can add one more argument here and I'll name it x1 x2 and that's gonna be x3 let's see if that makes it easier to read I'll debug it again and we can see here the okay that's far easier to read okay let's see if that's the same thing let me just do this there and put it in here let's see if we have the same thing so that's x1 2 x3 3, 3 minus 16.5 x1 square oh 6 x1 x2 minus 11 oh we have a mistake here don't we no no it's the same there it is 11.5 positive x3 x2 and minus 0.5 okay that's correct this one minus infinity minus 1 1 1 and 20 correct and minus 1 minus 3 1 and 30 all right all right cool this is good now I'll stop the debugger and let's just add one more thing let's just have yeah let's just have Java tell us the values of the objective function and the variable so we'll just print it to the console the objective is going to be this so print that get objective value and for the variables we'll have this one and the same will be for x2 and x3 and just in case if it doesn't solve uh, though it does we already saw it but it's always safe to write this um, I'll just gonna throw a new exception you can handle your own exceptions there any way you want. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, just an easy way to to have uh, Java tell us that something's going wrong. Okay, it looks good. Let's run it. That's it. There we have. We have the objective and the value of the three variables. Okay, this is all I had prepared for today. Thank you.